hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video don't mind my voice i'm just waking up but for today's video i do have another box from colorful july this is a new brand that i've been trying they recently sent me one other package during christmas and i really loved it and they sponsored a giveaway on my channel which was so nice of them to do especially since it was the first time i've ever worked with them so when they asked me if i wanted to try this new art box of course i said yes and this box is a baroque themed box and i did receive this a few days ago i'm not sure why it has christmas package on it um but yeah let's just go ahead and get into the unboxing so once i unwrap that paper this is what the box looks like it's pretty small but there is a lot of items in here and like i was mentioning this is a baroque themed box which means if you don't know what it is it's basically like a bunch of angel and vintage type of nail art and when i first heard of the name of the box i didn't even know like what the style meant so i did have to google it and it says the baroque is a style of aquaculture music dance painting sculpture pottery and other arts that flourished in europe in the early 17th and 18th century and I am familiar with the style like I've have seen a lot of angel nails but I just didn't know like what the name Baroque was and I did end up loving this box so let's just go ahead and get right into the unboxing so as you saw the first thing we had a grid of roses which was very pretty because they have like a little color in the middle which I feel like will make the nail set like pop but it doesn't overshadow everything underneath the second grid of nail art here we have some pearls we have some charms and some angel charms I do know there is another name for these angel charms I'm I can't think of it right now but if I remember to google it I will put it up on the screen also I really love how vintage looking those charms was like the hearts they have a bow and even though these are like brand new charms like I just love how the gold parts of those charms look vintage like I don't know I just love it so much on this second grid here we have some repeat items I did see some more pearls we also got some more bows and angel charms Moving on to the next item here, we have this little sheet of what I thought was going to be stickers, but I'm just kind of trying to peel it off. If it does peel off, then they are stickers, but these are actually water decals. Um, And the difference is water decals, you do have to cut around the one that you want to use, put it in some water for about 15 to 30 seconds, and then put it on the nail. I do actually love water decals though. They lay a whole lot smoother than stickers Um, if you do apply it right. This next item here, we have some alphabet stickers. I'm not sure if they were stickers or water decals. I didn't check, but I do love the font that they are in. We also get some silver roses, like the glitter, sort of like the um, texture kind. Like if you rub across it, you will be able to feel that texture. And then next, we also get some pink butterfly stickers. Now this to me doesn't really fit the theme of the Baroque style, but spring is coming up so those will be very useful and i do love how they look chromish now moving on to the next item so this next few items here are going to be more of what the baroque style is when you google it this is basically what you will see so we get a lot of angels and crosses just like vintage hearts and wings and i really love how these how this set of stickers have like the little tiny crosses this next one here is you see a bunch of like cupid type angels i like that have hearts and i really love this one because they actually do have hearts and i feel like this one would fit more for valentine's day theme which i do plan on doing one with this one um but i do have to get more full cover nail tips because i ran out of the ones that i have from aliexpress so i would like to do a nail set with those um and then the next one here we have just more angels um wings and i love how these are a little bit bigger where you can see their face more if you don't want to have like a lot of smaller details in the background these are going to be more like bigger style stickers next we have some black glitter um i did want to take it out just because it's already like wasted in the package and i did not want all of that glitter everywhere and they sent a little snowflake even though it is still winter time i feel like snowflakes are more for christmas or like you can kind of still get away with snowflake nails like the first um few weeks of january but now i feel like everything's gone on to like valentine's day and just more normal sets but this next item here is 
a charm mold um i've been wanting to try to make my own charms for the longest time um i did know i did purchase a mold i forgot what it was i do believe they're like butterflies from aliexpress but i have yet to even try it um but this one here we have two different sizes hearts and i'm not sure what the other ones are um but i do feel like they are some sort of wings and I do plan on, well, I will try to plan on using this for some Valentine's Day nails. Maybe make my own heart charms. Um, and yeah, so that would be really cool to do. The next few items here, it comes with just like a teeny portion of these next few items. Um, but these are like little rock, like pearl stones. I don't know what they're called, but they are very pretty. And these little gold things here, I'm not sure what these are. I didn't open them, but I do believe they are. The little thing that you glue onto the nail to make the nail charm spin and then it also comes with a little wreath here which ties into that christmas theme the next item is a box of foils and as you can see they are angeled or baroque style foils and i actually have one like this already um but these are like very very pretty each of these have their own style i love how the first one has some red roses which you can tie into valentine's day just like the other stickers i love how they have different types of flowers and different colors um some of them do have transparent backgrounds and the other ones it's just like a fully opaque picture and so yeah i do love foils i've been getting to love foils over the time um get into the last few items in this box we have some gel products this first one here is a ufi gel polish and it's 004 um and they should really make these a lot easier to open i remember where the first time i received this um the little solid gel polishes i had to turn my camera off and it took me about six minutes to open them but yeah this one is more of like a bluish grayish metallic gel polish which i will swatch it in a few seconds the second one here it doesn't say what it is but it is a number six and when i opened it i was so confused because like i have no idea what this could be at first i thought maybe my solid gel polish like cured or it was froze but yeah i have no idea what this is i even tried to smell it to like see if i could make out what it was it kind of reminds me of like something something like hand cream i'm not yeah i don't know what this could be but it's really soft and I was just feeling the texture just to kind of get a feel of what it could be. I couldn't figure it out so if you do know what this is please leave it down below in the comments. Moving on to this third item here is just a very pretty pink solid gel polish which I do think I do have a repeat color from them but yeah this one is so pretty I don't mind getting a repeat. This last item here is a number two and this is just the same product that the other one was just in a black color and with this one it looks more of like a molding gel or something but it's still very soft i just could not make out what it was i actually may go on the website once i finish doing this voiceover just to kind of see and i'll come back and edit like what it is or put up a screenshot if i remember but yeah i don't know what this is it's very soft and yeah i'm not going to be touching the geese so let's just go ahead and get into the swatches since the other ones are i don't know what we are going to be swatching these two colors starting off with this pink solid gel polish and I've been loving solid gel polishes, like the texture is just so smooth and so creamy. You get a full coverage each time you do it only with one coat. And just look how easy this applies. Like this is really nice and if you are on the go or if you're in a hurry, this would be so nice for you to use. Just do one coat and cure for 60 seconds and just be done with it with of course adding a top coat. The second one here is a very pretty bluish grayish metallic gel. And it reminds me of chrome like it is just so so gorgeous um in person is always better in person like i always say my camera does not does it justice but even this it goes on very smooth and as you can see the coverage is super opaque and yeah i love these i do recommend these even though i didn't use them in today's box i do plan on using them for another set and i don't know why my mic has been low like this entire time i do apologize if the audio is too low but i did just change it and hopefully it is better but yeah, this is an overview of everything that I got in my box, the Baroque style box. These boxes are $49.99 on the website. And I do have a discount code that you can use to save some money with your purchase. So thank you to Colorful July for sending me this box. I've really been loving these products. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into the video. So since this unboxing was a little bit longer than I expected, I went ahead and applied my tips off camera. And the tips I'm going to be using are the ones from Secret Nail Affair. These are the pre-shaped stiletto. 
like with this theme box i just immediately wanted to do the little nails so when i was thinking of what i wanted to do for this nail set i knew i wanted to use the foils so that's just what i'm going to be doing first um i did decide to go with this one here i really liked how it looked in the um the container but when I pulled it out, because I didn't pull it out like when I unboxed it, and this is like two days after. So when I pulled it out, I didn't expect it to have like a transparent background. Um, because in the container, it kind of looks like it have like a sort of like a muted milky white look to the background. And I really love that, but it was just like how it all looked together. Sort of like how this one is. I thought that one was going to look like this where you can't see through it. So I'm actually going to have to add my own base to this nail just because I didn't want it to be clear. At first I did bring out two gel polishes um, and I did try something. I had to replace this entire nail um, but eventually once I figured out like what I really wanted to do I just ended up going with that Kira Sky Snow Bunny White um, because I love how like it's not really opaque. Remember when I did my Kira Sky unboxing I love how it has like that really nice light look to it it looks very milky white so I just did one coat I cured it in my light and then I went in with a McCart foil gel and this foil gel is very good every time I do a foil I use this McCart gel and I always have a very perfect application like I'm not even gonna lie I really do recommend this foil gel if you have been looking for a good one and I just cut off a piece of foil using that. I did try to place it on the nail so the entire nail would be covered. Um, but also like have the angles that I want. It was kind of difficult because the angel would have been like too far up or too slanted off to the side. So I'm just kind of figuring out where I want it to be placed. And once I get where I want it, I put it down on the nail, smoothing it out in the middle first. And then working my way to the outer side of the nails. Um, there isn't really much to cover since these are stiletto nails, but once I get it on there, I just add pressure towards that, just rubbing it off to make sure I get a very nice transfer. And I didn't mention it, but I did cure my foil gel for 30 seconds in my LED Kira Sky Lamp. Um, also, once I finish using my finger, I like to go in with a silicone tool. Um, in this video, I did use the silicone tool from Daily Charm that I got a while ago. And as you can see, once I peeled it off, it is a perfect transfer. But I also did go off camera and just add in more of like the foil to the pieces that were empty. Which I just repeated those steps, adding some foil gel, curing for 30 seconds, and just placing the foil on the nail. And the first time I did this, I immediately went in to do my ombre and that monomer messed up my foils. So yeah, that's basically why I had to restart. Um, when you are doing this, make sure that you add a top coat on top of it, especially if you are using um, acrylic on top of it like I'm going to be doing because that monomer will mess up the foils, it will distort the color and it will just bleed and it will not be right. So make sure that you add a top coat on top of it or if you're just using it as it is, you can just go over with the entire foil and add a top coat. But like I did. Um, into that top coat, I did add some foils, just kind of scattered all over that foil section, and I cured that for 30 seconds. And of course, I decided to do a nude ombre with this foil. So for the nude, I really love this color, Everyday Nude from Too Cute. So I went in with that, and I'm doing just a little simple ombre. I love how it doesn't take away from that nail, and I feel like this color matches this foil perfectly like it isn't too dark sort of like a more tannish type of nude i really love how light it is and these powders are very easy to work with like i mentioned in the video where i used them a little bit more i do believe it took me about two beads to do this entire ombre and i really love how it looked in the end And once I finished with that ombre, usually I would move on to my ring finger, but I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do. So I did cut the camera off for some time, and then I just decided instead of wasting time just going to the next nail, I knew for sure I wanted this to be an entire nude because I have something planned to go over on top of it. So I'm just using that same everyday nude from Too Cute to do a full solid application using that color. And this color is just so pretty. I honestly recommend it and I see myself using this color a lot in the future. 
Um, because since I used it, like I've used it twice already and it's only been like what two or three videos. So yeah, I really love this color and I do recommend it if you guys are looking for a color like this. Like a new color that's not too like tannish, if that makes sense. I really do love this color and I also do have a discount code that you guys can use on the Too Cute website. And I just had to mention, it was so satisfying to apply this to a stiletto nail. I haven't done stiletto nails in the longest time. And stiletto nails are just so fun to do for me. Like the shaping, the application, you don't have to do too much work at all. Especially since you just wipe the sides and just bring it down to a point. Like stiletto nails are honestly the most easiest nails that you can do application for in my opinion. And it was really nice to revisit this stiletto shape. So once I finished the application for my middle finger, I did turn my camera off just once again, just because I still couldn't figure out what I wanted to do on my ring finger. But after visiting Pinterest and getting some inspo, um, I do believe I saved it. If I did, I'll pop it up right here of the set that I looked at. And I did want to kind of just recreate it or just do something similar and add my own touch on it. Um, but I did decide to use this new glitter base here from not polish and this is called dare you this is one of my favorite colors that i received from not polish i just love the warm feel to it and like the glitters like they're really really tiny sparkly glitters in there and i really love how it's not like super um aggressive it's just so light in the background and also i just love like that new look to it so at first i did just put a little bit on the nail because i just wanted a subtle hint in the background but it was a little bit too light for what i wanted so gradually i am picking up a little bit more of the powder and just putting it over the entire surface of this nail keeping it very very thin because i am going to be encapsulating some bigger metal pieces into my nails So once I was done with this very thin application for this nail, I did allow it to dry for some time. And then on my nail palette, I'm taking a more opaque white. This is not the same white as the Acura Sky. This is actually the white gel polish from Crafts by Nine. I've been really loving these gel polishes. They are new to the website. Um, and if you want to check them out, I will have it linked down below along with my discount code. And with the dotting tool, I'm just putting on some little clouds here. I did mess up, so you will see a little bit of the white tint where I had to wipe it away. Um, but I did edit out all of my mistakes so the video wouldn't take too long. But yeah, just doing a dotting, tapping motion. I'm just creating some clouds, making the area like really hot at one point and kind of making them go down as they get longer. And I just use a regular brush. I do believe this is the application brush. I did kind of fan out the look underneath the clouds so it doesn't look too harsh and it looks more like whimsical like i don't know how to explain that part but it does make the clouds look a whole lot better um and i did cure that for 30 seconds once i took it out of the light i'm just adding drops of a base coat or top coat i'm not sure which one it was but i'm putting that in the areas where i want my little embellishment pieces to go and as you can see i did decide on a cross and i'm also going to be adding two other styles of um stars the first one is going to be sort of like the four pointed star that we draw on our nails and then the second one is going to be just like the regular star now these were not included in this baroque box i did have these already in my nail art drawer so I just wanted to include something like this just to kind of add that gold touch or feel back to these baroque style nails and i really love how this one turned out especially with the clouds in the background and once i got them placed how i like i just went ahead and cured that in the nail since i did apply them with a base or top coat and that's basically all i'm going to be doing to this nail i am going to repeat in that same process over on my thumb and then i'm also going to be repeating that same thing i did on my pinky nail to my index nail using that foil um 
ombre and I'm going to be switching back between those two nails since I already explained what I'm going to be doing and so I'm just going to let the rest of this part play out just switching back between those two nails and I really hope you guys are enjoying the video I hope it isn't too long for you and I hope it's not too boring for you if you are here and you are liking the video please make sure to go ahead and hit that like button if you're here and you haven't subscribed yet please make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button it will really help me out a lot and if you are feeling generous leave a comment down below The last thing I had to do was my ombre. So once I finished that, these are how my nails are looking. And this is the complete base of my nails. So as for that, we are done. Now we just need to encapsulate so we can go ahead and file. To encapsulate, I'm using my Mia Secret Clear. And I was really trying to let this part go by a lot smoother, especially for like the nails where I encapsulated those embellishment pieces. Now that part kind of made me nervous just a little bit because um the pieces like the embellishment pieces i didn't want them to be filed over or i didn't want the nails to be too thick either with trying to cover them up so when you see me encapsulate that nail i'm gonna try to work with more drier beads so that way i can get the product just to just kind of set up over the nail because if i go in with too many smaller wet beads it's just gonna blend right over and it's not going to be enough to encapsulate and i'll have to go over with so many more beads just to build it up so for that one is a lot easier if i just go in with a dry bead and just kind of let it set up over the nail 
you'll see exactly what I'm talking about once I get to that nail. But for the most part, encapsulating these nails were very easy. Like I said, stiletto nails are just so much easier in my opinion. I really like how the apexes look on these nails, even though they all may not be the same. I really did love how the apex look. And so yeah, here you can see me just kind of letting it sit over the product, not really fanning it down too much. But I am making sure to wipe the side so that it doesn't dry on the side and it messes up the shape. Then I have to go in and do a whole lot more filing than I need to. So I'm just making sure to keep the sides in, not really dragging it down too, um, too fast. And then once it starts to set up, I just kind of smooth it out just to make sure there's enough product over, especially the one towards the end since that's where my nails go a lot more narrow. That one was actually like the hardest one to encapsulate just because it's a little bit thicker than the other ones. But in the end it did work and I was able to encapsulate it so it wasn't too thick and I didn't file through them. Um, I'm only going to show me doing two nails on camera. And once I finished doing the rest of them, encapsulating the rest of them off camera, I waited till they are completely dry before I go in and start filing. I wanted to show a little bit of these nails because the little nails are so fun to shape to me. Like the point, like it's just so much easier than doing coffin or a square oval. Like it's so much more easier and it's so satisfying to just watch. And I really love how sharp and pointy I was able to get these. Like it is just so satisfying overall. And I don't want to keep repeating myself. So I'm just going to let the rest of this part play out and let you guys enjoy the filing. And also I'm going to be taking my e-file and a sanding band to go around my cuticles and also underneath the nail. So I will be back while this part play out. And I really hope you guys are enjoying the video. Don't forget to show love in the comment section and like and subscribe if you haven't already. So finishing up the filing part, I am just taking a buffer and just buffing over all of my nails. I didn't use the cuticle oil method just because it was already getting late. Just skipping that step wouldn't made that big of a deal. Um, the nails still came out very smooth. Um, and once I finish buffing over my nails, I'm just taking my hand file and just crispening up these nails just one last time. And then I go in and remove that dust. I did go ahead and wash my hands so we can get into the top coat and adding on my decorations. Um, so yeah, this is how they look. I'm really loving how these nails are looking. 
So for my middle finger, um, we do have to add some foil still because I wanted to do a foil French tip also with like a gold outline like at the smile line area. So for this French tip, I am taking that McCart foil glue putting a little bit on my nail palette. We only have to apply this where I want the foil to be so it's kind of hard to see but I am taking a liner brush and just drawing on a French tip with that foil gel. It was kind of hard to see, but I think I did a pretty good job at drawing it on neatly. Um, and once I finish drawing it on, I'm going to be carrying and adding on my foils, just doing that same steps that I did before. Once I apply this foil, I do care for 30 seconds. So when it's time to apply the foils for this, I wanted to make sure I did have like most of the design like up in the side area, just so that my French tip would be a little bit more defined. Because if I put it on and like there's empty spaces around that French tip area, it would just kind of look empty and you couldn't really tell there's like a bold French tip. Once I placed that one side down, I did cut the other side and lay it down separately just so that most of the print can be in that area just to make sure the smile line was defined like I said. And then with that rest of the foils, I just went in at the bottom of the nail. And what I love about these foils is that if you messed up or if you want like more of the design, you can just go over on top and it doesn't really make a difference like to the design just because there's a lot of flowers and it would just blend in with each other so you can overlap it how I'm doing here just to kind of fill in those empty spaces and that was definitely a lifesaver and so yeah, as you can see like around the French tip area you can actually see that is a French tip um, and for that French tip I really love this chrome powder the last time from Kira Sky when I tried it so I'm going to be putting this on the French tip line instead of using a gold um, paint so the first time I did it, I used a no white top coat and I thought that was the only way to apply chrome powder. But recently I seen someone over on Instagram use black. They posted a tutorial using chrome powder and they drew their design on with a black gel polish. And I didn't even know that you could do that. Like I've only seen that you can do it with top coat, a no wipe top coat. And this is such a lifesaver because the top coat is clear, it's very hard to see. But with the black, you can see exactly where you're putting it and um, yeah, it just makes it a whole lot easier when applying it. So I'm just going around that smile line area with this black, being very careful. Um, and before I went on with this black gel polish, I did go over like that area where I'm drawing this on with a matte top coat. Just so that it wouldn't stick to where I didn't want it to stick to. And I couldn't buff over it because obviously I would have buffed away my foil design. So I just went over that with a matte top coat. Once I finish drawing on that line, I just go ahead and cure for the entire 30 seconds. And now I'm just rubbing on that chrome powder. It was so easy to rub onto this black. Like I'm so glad that I seen that tutorial because this is definitely gonna be a lifesaver. I do plan to get more chrome powders from Kara Sky. Um, but once I finished rubbing that on and I tried to wipe away the excess, it didn't really wipe away how I expected it to. Um, so I'm guessing the only way you can get it not to stick is I guess just buff over the nails. Um, I'm not sure but if you have some tips please leave them down below in the comments. So just another step that I had to do I'm taking a little cleanup brush and I'm just going around just cleaning off the rest of that chrome powder from the parts where I didn't want it. And even though I did have to go in and clean up I really do love how this chrome looked to this um, French like it brought so much detail to this nail. Now for my decorations, I wanted to add some pearls and so I wanted some smaller pearls. The ones in the box didn't have like the smaller ones. So I just took some that I already had and I'm going to be putting on a top coat and carrying my pearls into the top coat. For my index nail, I'm going to be putting six pearls at the cuticle area doing some very simple cuticle bling. And I really love the pearls with this look. Like it just looks so elegant and vintage like I don't know like I just love it so I'm gonna be doing the cuticle look for my ombre nails 
then i'm also going to be adding some on my other nails as well but i will explain once i get to those so i'm just going to let this part here play out until i move on to the next design I just love how this top coat is applying to this nail set like it just brings the nail design to life and I really love it it's super satisfying to watch um, but once I apply the top coat to my ring finger um, I'm just going to be adding different size pearls like mostly the smaller ones but I did throw a bigger one in there just to kind of give the look something um, I'm not sure what I'm trying to say but the bigger one like I just wanted it to look a little different and not all be the same and I really love how that looked like scattered throughout the nail and I went ahead and cured each nail individually just so that once I move on to the next nail the pearls don't slide out of place while trying to um, do the current nail. For my middle finger I didn't want to repeat that same cuticle bling as my index and pinky so I did decide to do three pearls going down starting with a bigger size to a smaller size and I really 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 love how that look. Of course for my thumb I did repeat the same thing that I did for my ring finger since it is the same design like scattering out those pearls. And then once I'm done carrying all of my nails, I did go ahead and apply some cuticle oil. And once I rub that in to re-nourish my cuticles, this is how the nails look. And like I always say, I really, really love how these nails turned out. For one, I really love how these are stiletto. Like I just immediately thought of stiletto vibes when I'd seen like what came in this box. Um, and what I think, like I, I like these nails a lot just because I've been wanting to do some angel nails for the longest time but my PR items don't really have this in there and I do try to stay on schedule. I couldn't really get to like designs that I just wanted to do without reviewing anything and this came at the perfect time. I really love how these nails turned out and I just love like the gold vintage look to these. I really love this Baroque style of nails. Um, and I just love this gold like these this color like I think it really matches my skin tone nicely and I actually still have these nails on because I did have to take more pictures and just because I love them a lot usually I would take them off and as for the box I really did enjoy all of these items like I said I do think it comes with a decent amount of stuff um, for you to do your nails with and I really love the baroque style to them I really love those angel stickers I do plan on doing another set using this box very very soon as soon as I get some full cover nail tips because I do plan to do the oppressed method yeah that's besides the point but I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video so yeah overall I really do love these nails and yeah I'm just obsessed with these if you are interested in this box or anything else from the colorful July website I do have a discount code that you guys can use it will be linked down below as well as everything else i use in today's video so yeah that's it for this nail set and as always don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye mm -hmm.